Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the board game closet. We are doing an all day live stream today, and we're kicking this thing off with one and only James Hudson. What's up, my friend? How are you today? What up, y'all? Happy Saturday. It's going to be a good one. So uh, thanks so much to Skybound for partnering with us today. We're excited to be able to check out what you guys are offering. And uh, at the same time, we're raising some money for the kids. So uh, Extra Life is all about raising money for the Children's Miracle Network. And uh, a long time ago, this all started with video games and then the tabletop people like we do broke in and decided to take over. And so we're doing our version of uh, Extra Life and that's today. And uh, so Skybound is partnering with us to bring you this preview of uh, Pebble Rock Delivery Service. So James, tell us all about that and kind of lead the way. Sure. Yeah, Pebble Rock is a, is a game that Tristan Rossum was the designer and and uh, artist. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, this thing looks amazing, uh, which is, you know, a very important part of uh, board gaming for me. It has to look amazing. And um, huge, yeah. one of the things I loved instantly was uh, he sent me a prototype. We played it, played it with the kids, and I really enjoyed playing it, right? So it was a game that mm -hmm. I could play with the kids, but I actually didn't want to like claw my eyes out. And I think all the gamers out there with kids know what I'm talking about, right? Like when you get kid games that they can play when they're younger and you play it once or twice, you're like, that's fine. You know, I, I spent time with my kids. That was fine. But then they're like, dad, mom, can we play? And you're just like, you just get that. You don't really want to play it. Well, one of the things I think that we're uh, going to be able to show today, because they're not playing with kids unless Rod counts as a kid, um, <laughs> is that, this is very enjoyable for adults and that was our our main thing was like when we were designing and helping develop how do we get this game to be just like we would add stuff and go mm, that's maybe too much let's pull it back a little bit you know uh so it was fun to go test this with the kids let them play it and then we'd you know bring things down bring things up that sort of thing and i think we found like the perfect game for family for especially for gamers with kids I totally know what you mean. I've been doing that with my kids lately. And we finally found my oldest son is nine and he finally started to get into, we've been playing some unmatched and things like that. But before it was kind of brutal to play through some of these games. And especially when they get fixated as kids do and they want to play it over and over and over. So uh, finding a game that the kids will want to play and you do too. Yeah. Sign me up. For sure. For sure. Well, if you want to take us to the screen, I'll be happy to start explaining a little bit of this here game. Yes, oh, sir. I, yeah. I need to share my screen, don't I? Yes, sir. Yeah. And if you want, um, let's see here. I got you, fam. I've done this before. I guess, I guess you have, huh? There you go. Okay. All right, cool. <laughs> okay. So you are looking, oh, look at Maisie. Isn't she cute? Oh, little Maisie, Maisie the whale. You got Larry the shark, and you got those dirty, dirty dread pirates over there. We'll talk about those later. Uh, but right out, right off, you're going to notice big, beautiful, round nautical board uh, and the big, beautiful art. Uh, let's see, Jimmy, y'all can pick. I've already taken Oscar, so if you just want to grab one of the other player uh, situations, it doesn't okay. matter which one. So grab one. Uh, so you are playing as Oscar I'm and Oscar so, the cat. so Elvis, the otter Elvis available. We've got uh, Hamish. If you're a dog person and you got, you know, Pebble the Puffin over there. So, all right. Well, I will, I think I'm going to be, who is this here? Uh, Hamish. Oh yeah. Ham Hamish is my, my guy. Yeah. Or girl. We're not, we're not sure there. We'll take Hamish. A good or pup. <laughs> yes there you go <laughs> awesome so that's me bradley if you want to pick uh somebody else which right. by the way we didn't we didn't say hi to these guys earlier but um here's everybody that's hanging out with us today we got rod and bradley and we are going to be playing this game we're doing it i dig it where elvis elvis is over here okay all right, so you'll notice that there's a bunch of islands, and we're going to be – this is a pick-up and deliver game. We're going to play over 10 rounds, and you're going to try to score the most points to win the game. Um, it is roll and move, but before you run screeching and go, James, I thought you said this was a game that we were going to enjoy. How dare you say roll and move? Um, <laughs> just roll and move in a way you've never seen before. So 
Uh, okay. On your turn, you're going to pick a set of dice. So over here where we've got our little dice set up, you'll notice you've got two green, and these are the, here's the slow and steady dice. You can choose to roll both of these dice on your turn, and you'll move the, you get to move the, uh oh, I hit it twice. You'll get to hit the, you'll get to move the amount of space as shown on the numerical die, but then on this resource die, you're going to get to do something. So in this case, okay. you get to fish. And so you take the fishing die that's right here and you roll it. This is how many fish that you're going to catch. We all have, uh, you know, here for TTS, we have this handy dandy little uh, counter that'll hold our fish for us instead of having like trying to drag all these little bits and bobs all over the place. But yeah. everybody's got three fish. So you could get some fish. And there's a couple of different things that can happen. You could fish, you could get the Maisie, and Maisie, she'll bring you some. Uh, so she'll bring you a crate, and I'll explain what the what those do in a bit. Fish, or you could get fair winds. Fair winds doubles your movement. Oh, okay. You got three options that you can get there. Or you can decide you need to go further. I need to go fast. And you can choose to roll the speedy die with the danger die. And you roll those, the results are much higher, uh, all the way up to eight spaces to move. Mm -hmm. But you could roll pirates and if the pirate, the dread pirates come over, let's go take a look at those guys. Cause they're freaking cute. They're the cutest bad pirates you've ever seen in your life. Look at those guys. Look at that. He's going to like, he's got this, he's got the spyglass. He's, he's, he's on you. Um, they will move next to you and remove one of your, uh, your, one of your crates. Uh, you could also throw down a jet stream and jet streams don't really hurt you, but they help the other players. And this is a competition. Or you could get the shark result, and the shark will come next to you. And if Larry the shark moves adjacent to you, uh, then you have to roll the fishing die, and he eats that many fish out of your uh, setup. Way cool. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, there is a catch-up mechanic, and I'll explain that later. But once we all get going, uh, whoever's in last – if you're in last place on your turn, you actually get to roll the speed die and the resource die together. So you never get any bad results when you're in last place. That's just the way that the world works in Pebble Rock. <laughs> Love it. So what we're going to be doing is we're looking to make these deliveries for, uh, oh, by the way, Brock the Badger. He's our dispatcher. Check this guy out. Look at that guy. <laughs> he, res he resides in the lighthouse, and, you know, he's in charge of all the deliveries that need to be made in Pebble Rock. Over here on our round board, you're going to see we've got some we got an item market, we've got a delivery market, and we've got these assignments. So I'm going to give all these decks a real good shuffle, and we'll flip a few out. So let's talk about deliveries. So over here, at any one time, there's going to be three deliveries that need to be made. You'll see here on the card, you've got the location of where the delivery needs to be made. You've got how many goods they need and how many points it's going to be worth uh, victory points. So over on Sheep's Refuge, they, there's two, it's a two crate pickup drop off. It's worth nine points. Or you could choose to go to Paired Isle. It's four crates. That's all the crates that your boat, your boat holds, but it's worth 15. Or you've got this old shipwreck. It's just one for three. So on the board, we will we'll take these delivery markers and we will, where did I say this one was? Sheep Refuge. We'll drop these delivery markers so they're easy to see on the board. Parrot Isle and the old shipwreck. Okay, so that also helps kids too when they're like looking out across the board. They can see where uh, where the pickups are potentially at and try to map out their uh, their plan. Oh, cool. Uh, but as you've noticed, you've got to manage your boat. And so if you look at your boat, we all start with four cargo loaded onto the boat. And as you make these deliveries, you'll have to remove the cargo. And once you run out of cargo on your boat, then you will have to return to the lighthouse, stop, and that'll have to end your turn, but then you can reload your boat. So this is where you're going to have to go to get your get your crates back to full. Now, how, however, I was, as I mentioned earlier, if, if you roll a Maisie or you move through her space, wherever she's located out on the board, she will give you one crate. She'll let you load back up one. So that might factor into how and where you want to go. Mm. Yeah, okay. that sounds good. Let's take a look over here at the items. Okay. So we'll flip these over. You'll notice on your on your boat boards that you have three slots for equipment. And there's a whole bunch of we got two of the same thing, of course. Let me let me just for variety's sake, we'll yeah, something different. <laughs> of course it would. 
<laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, there you go. So, it's good. You got three different in this setup. You got three different options. So if you ever stop on one of these islands mm -hmm. uh, in the middle ring, so you got these in this middle ring islands, and you got the outer ring islands. Uh, these four locations here: the Meer Meerkat Mount, uh, the Walrus Hut. These four here. These are markets. If you stop on any of these spaces at the end of your turn, you get to pick up an item from the markets. Okay. Um, you'll no also notice, I'll go ahead and mention while I'm here, the other four islands, they have these little spots that look like they have fish swimming around them. That's because th you, if you stop there, you get to go fishing for free. So you'll roll that fishing die and get that amount of fish. I'll mm -hmm. explain. Fish, fish have some in-game points, and they also can help you get extra movement if you need them. Okay. But if you were to stop at one of those markets and want to pick up one of these pieces of gear, you'll just take it and you'll slot it into a position and, and get that upgrade. So in this case, let's say Elvis took the cargo upgrade. The cargo upgrade is uh, place your upgraded cargo card on your player board. Your boat may now hold up to five cargo. Everybody has this little card right here. You can flip it over and see it matches your boat. But come here and now you can carry five pieces of cargo. It's pretty big. Yeah. It, it's pretty helpful. You know, it's pretty helpful if you're, <laughs> into, if you're into like, you know, efficiencies and those sort of things. <laughs> uh, and there's all kind of fun stuff as far as uh, cargo or, or equipment goes. So mm -hmm. you've got like, here's fishing gear. So anytime you go fishing, you're going to get a plus one to your fishing. It's water cannon. If a pirate would attack you, you can discard this to avoid it and send the pirate somewhere else, which is very helpful because mm -hmm. when the pirates attack you, they take one of your cargo. So you, you had a plan in place. The, those pirates can mess you up. <laughs> but that's how equipment works. Uh, there's some other little fun things in there. We'll let you all discover those as you go along. And then we've got our assignments. Now, what you're going to notice here about our pregame assignments, I would say if you're the first time you're playing, you probably don't want to play with this. But since you all are seasoned gamers, I think you'll be fine. Mm, uh, I think so, so this is going to be a secret in-game goal. So I've got this particular card blown up here. It says, make two deliveries that require three or four pieces of cargo. If you do that by the end of the game, you'll get five victory points. Or if you can make three deliveries that require three or four cargo, you can get 10 victory points. So there's different mm -hmm. conditions for some in-game secret pointage. Mm -hmm. I'll flip that over. So we'll all, we'll all just take one of those. Uh, and by the okay. way, if you, when you're drawing cards, if you need to draw one in your hand, you can just uh, hover over something and hit the number. Like in this case, just hover over it, hit one, and it'll draw it into your hand, and only you'll be able to see that. Cool. Now, like I said, in, we're playing this game over 10 rounds, so you're trying to score as many points as you can by the end of the 10th round. Um, other things that are important to know, there are treasure. You see these weird spots that are way over here on four of these islands that have the skull and crossbones? We're going to mm -hmm. be taking out treasure and putting over there. Now they have a pretty high value, somewhere between ten and twelve points. Um, you can go and pick that up if you go land on that spot, and you can add it to your cargo. Now it's going to eat up a spot on your cargo hold. So, like if I needed to go back in this scenario and and refill, I would only get to refill these three empty spaces on my boat. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to manage that. But if I ever get adjacent to the pirates, I can give them this treasure because pirates, they love treasure. Are maybe. They do. <laughs> uh, then you'll score those points. Uh, the big thing, the big thing to know about your movement in the game and, and deliveries is you can move as far as you can. You can deliver as much stuff as you possibly can on a turn. There's nothing that stops you other than having to come back to the lighthouse uh, and reload that all that will always bring you to a halt. Um, mm. and you can always use fish from your, uh, reserve here on your dock, <laughs> uh, <laughs> to move extra spaces. However, mm. fish are worth victory points in the game, three fish to a point. So, you know, you may not want to have to do that if you don't have to. That okay. sounds good. I think that's enough information to make you dangerous. So I'm going to okay. refill, refill Oscar's boat. 
A lot of this we're going to learn as we go. You're going to want to give your... Uh, Y'all aren't looking at my screen, so y'all don't know what I got. Y'all wouldn't cheat. <laughs> um, we'll keep score around the outside edge here. and every after At the end of your turn, whenever you score points, you will just move this forward. And like I said, after the first round, whoever's in the last place will um, start to get that beneficiary roll. Do y'all want me to go first so you can see what a turn looks like? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So out the gates. Ah, oh, one other mm -hmm. thing to know yep. is you'll see that there's four different colors of the islands around the around Pebble Rock. You've got red, this red section, yellow, green, and blue. So that may pertain to your in-game scoring situation. Uh, mm -hmm. But also, if you if you make a delivery, one of each color for each set, you get a bonus five points. So, you know, if you can get one red, one yellow, one green, one blue, that'll be worth five. You, you get two sets of those, that's worth ten. That's hard to do, but, you know, go for it. Go for it. Uh, okay. okay. So I see Parrot Isle. I see Chef Sheep's Refuge. Okay. okay. All right. I'm gonna go. You know what? I'm gonna live life dangerously. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for the big, the big stuff. Uh, that was not the best. Uh, the only thing to know also about the inner aisle here is there. There can't be any NPCs like our our shark and Maisie and the pirates. They don't go there. I like. I just rolled a jet stream. I actually can't drop a jet stream uh, in here. Nothing can go on these spaces except our boats. So okay, I'm gonna bebop out of here. One, two three, four, five, and I'm going to spend all three of my fish that I started the game with to go. Oh, that's Moo Cow. I don't want to go that way. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to spend two fish to get over to Parrot Isle and make this delivery. So right out of the mm -hmm. gate, I'm going to score. I'm going to use all four. We'll see if that's a, we'll see if that's a good move or not. All four, but it scores me 15 points and I am Oscar. So I'm going up to 15. Uh, so that is the end of my turn. So we'll bring out a new delivery. Flip that over. Hey, look, it's at Parrot Isle again. So it doesn't move, but it's only one. And I don't have that cargo. So even though I'm already here, I can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. All right. It's Elvis's turn. Okay. So uh, Bradley, are you ready? Are y'all, do you understand? I think so. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's see. Take it, my friend. So, what are you doing? I think I'm gonna go for the big. Oh, big dice. Big dice. Seven okay. And so then you roll the shark. shark. So here's what's gonna happen. Tell me what the shark means again. Larry, because uh, you are your Elvis. Larry's gonna come over here. He's gonna come adjacent to you. Normally, in any uh, in a game, you would you would choose which side you want that to be adjacent, but you don't have a choice since you can't put it here. Uh, Larry mm -hmm. is going to eat some of your fish. Larry's mm -hmm. hungry. So if you could roll this fish die right here, you'll see how many fish you'll have to give to old Larry the shark. Yeah, mm -hmm. roll that blue die right okay. there. And by the way, if you if you hover over your dice and just tap R, and you can hit it multiple times, it'll it'll flip it in the air and spin them. Gotcha. So hold R, and it'll spin that die. So it looks like you lost two. So just go ahead okay. and move, two, and then you can go on with your turn. So you got sure. seven spaces you can move. So you can move seven spaces, and you got to lose two fish. Okay. I want to go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four. So. So tell us what you're doing, man. Right there. Well, can I pass through ships? Can you pass yes. through other ships? Yep. Yeah. You can pass, you can pass okay. through whoever. You just can't end your space on anything that's occupied. And then gotcha. I want to take this this delivery. You're doing, so, you're doing the sheep okay. refuge. Spent two cargo. And you're going to score yourself nine points. Nine points. Nine points. Y'all are leaving me behind. Let's grab Elvis. The bam. Okay. I chose the puffin, so we'll throw we'll throw a pebble back over there. Uh, all right, did you have anything else you want to do on your turn? Is there anything else? Uh, You've only got one fish, so you can only move one more to. space. I don't I don't think it's going. To. Well, if you wanted to move back to the meerkat right. market, you could spend your fish, end your return there, and then you could pick up a item from the item shop. 
Mm -hmm. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, go back and maybe pick up an item. Okay. Yes. So go back one. And then... Which now, items? Which items are going to be? Oh, you yeah. want to go fishing strategy? You want to go cargo strategy? You got options. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you're going to slot this equipment onto your board. You only have three slots for equipment. So if you ever have, if you're ever full and you want something else, you just have to discard mm -hmm. one of your other three things uh, to be able to do it. So now you're going to be able to take, let's just set, I'm going to set your two cargo aside right here. You're going to take your card, you're going to flip it over for your cargo upgrade. And now Elvis, Ooh, Elvis, Elvis living that, that heavy cargo ship life. <laughs> I here, love it. Here you go. Grab you an extra one for when you when you refill, you're good to go. <laughs> well, let's refill this delivery slot and see. Oh, it's all red stuff today. Meerkat Market needs a needs a three cargo drop over here. All right, market mm. on board. You're all set. Uh, Jimmy, I think. All right, I think I'm going to do that. I think I can make it one, two, three. One, two, three. Four. Four, five. Do I chance it with the the safe dice? I think I'm gonna chance it. Oh, oh would you look at that? <laughs> right, uh, Maisie's, so, gonna, Maisie's gonna come over here. Okay. Okay. Again, that's the only spot you can put her be since you can't put her in here. Um, that doesn't really help you right now because you're full of cargo, but that's how okay. the dice work sometimes, you know. But oh, so oh, I can that puffins out of get out of here, Pebble. You're not even in the game. <laughs> so I can go five spaces. I can go yep. one, two, three. Can I go through the shark? If four, you go five? through the shark, you have to roll the die and lose. Ah! Four. He's got okay, so yeah. One, two, three, four. So I can't make it to Mirka. So what's he? He's gonna take whatever I roll on the fish die. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Also, if you move through the pirates, they take one of your cargo. Uh, putting them in these places, or they 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 do kind of create little barriers that you have to try to work around. Unbelievable. These silly <laughs> pirates. Okay. Um, so I am going to, I think if I they're both in my way, and I can't make it to Meerkat. So let me see. Maybe I can go somewhere else instead. Maybe not. Where's Parrot Island at? Let me look for the... There it is. That same thing. Yeah, you can get over there without having to go through that. I don't, I've only got five spaces, though. I don't know if I'd make it. Uh, you, well, yeah. You can't spend enough, I don't think, to... Uh, but you could also stop on your way and do a little fishing. Yeah, let's uh, let's just do that. I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to go too much. I'll go one, two, three, four, five. Avoid the uh, um, the shark there, and then I just roll the fish die. You do, yes, sir. All right, let's roll it. Come All on, right. big money. Three fish. I'll take it. Okay, um, and I, but I. Now, talk me through this. I still have fish that I could use to continue on, but I don't see if there's anywhere else that I could go. Now that you've rolled that fish and die, and you because you stopped on the space, you're, you're done. Oh, okay, that's it. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay. If you don't want to stop there, you had three fish. You could have used them. But unfortunately, my boat is sitting right at the entry, and you weren't going to be able to get into that parrot aisle no, no matter what. Okay. Well, uh, I guess I'm done then, so I will. I will finish my turn. Cool. It is the start of the second round. All right. Now, Jimmy, on your turn, you're in last place now. So you'll get to roll the fast die, the speedy die, and the resource die. That's that'll be that catch up mechanic that starts to kick in. Okay. Gonna be you'll you'll see. It's pretty it's pretty nice. Some you almost strategically want to be in last place if you can sometimes, but still be within reach of everybody. Mm. Uh it can be pretty, pretty helpful. I'm gonna roll these. I'm gonna get back to the aisle, uh, the lighthouse. Okay, really slowly. Um, we actually, this two is a misprint. It's actually supposed to be a three. So just anytime you roll the two on the green die, just know that that's actually going to be a three. Okay. Two, three. I'm going to go one, two. Oh, man. All right. So Maisie moves next to me. I'm going to put her, I'm going to put her over here. Oh, she's going to give, she's going to bring me a cargo. Uh oh. Huh? You know what I'm going to do? Oh. It's, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? 
What are you gonna that's do? What gonna do? That's what I'm gonna do. That's what you're gonna do. I'm gonna do that because that's easy money. Uh, <laughs> thanks, thanks, Maisie. You're the best. I'm gonna use that cargo Maisie brought me because you know she's, uh, you know she's awesome like that. And I'm gonna turn that in. I'm gonna get that five points, kids. Mm. Damn. I'm uh, so uh, far behind. <laughs> and I only get to move three, so I'm gonna go one. I'm gonna go one, two, three. I'm gonna just stop right there. I'm going to roll the fish and die and load up for future, hopefully future things. Mm. So I'm at six. And let's see where the new delivery is going to come out at. It is, I promise, I, I, there are other colors besides red and blue. The Walrus Brothers Hut. Uh-huh. Uh, so that is over here. Okay. That is the end of my turn. All right. That sounds good. So Bradley, uh, okay. lead, lead the way, man. <laughs> Talk Six us through what you're doing. Six so, I want to fish. I only have one fish. It's not enough. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six is enough to move. You got to, I think you got to be on those little. Yeah, you yeah. Do. I didn't have enough and I don't think I'm close enough. So, well, you, you could, you can spend, I think you've got one fish left. You can spend one fish to move one more space. Spend a fish to get to fish. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's like, yes. you got to spend money yes. to make money. Let's do that. But that's going to, it's going to be a net, it's going to be a net win though. So, Obviously. yeah. So you can't go fishing and not get something. That's right. That's Two is the lowest result. So, there you go. There you go. You know, could have been better. Could have been worse. <laughs> Two is the lowest result. Look what you got. <sighs> you know, if, you, if, if you'd have picked up that uh, fishing gear instead of uh, the cargo, you'd have been getting <laughs> fish right there. All right, Jimmy. I believe you're up. And okay. Jimmy, you need to roll the resource die and the speed die because you're in absolute worst place. And that is very true. It's not just worst place. It is like worst, worst. All worst. right. Okay. So All right. Maisie's going to come visit you. Okay. And, and where, you can put it where you want. I don't know where you want her. I don't know if you want her here or there, but that's, those are your two options. Yep. We'll leave her there. That's good. Cool. And um, she's going to bring and- you cargo, but you're already full. So. <laughs> So, okay, so instead, but I do get to move, move seven spaces. That's right. And let me see if I can make it then. One, two, three, four. I can't get where I want to go. So let's see where else. So my options are I can go to. Whoop. You got the delivery. You got two deliveries over here. Uh, mm-hmm. One at the shipwreck, one at the Walrus Brothers. Where's that third delivery at? Hmm. Should be Meerkat. Oh, right here beside you. Right here. Yeah. And then I got a. The dang old sharks is standing there staring at you, though. I know. And he's just going to take fish, right? I'm rolling the yeah, fish tie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, let's do that. Then we'll just. I should have done it before, but we're going to we're going to go through here. So one, two, three. And I can stop at Meerkat there, but I've got to roll this fish die. Yep. Terrible, terrible. Come on, low numbers. Well, it wasn't the worst the, the worst result it could be. So no, that's what Bradley got. Oh. <laughs> okay. So uh so that's the three fish that I got at the fishing ground. So I'm kind of back to where I started. But uh now that I'm at Meerkat, I can do this delivery. Is that right? That's right. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And ooh, and then I'm gonna <laughs> seven. You're on the board uh, now. Get rid of these three cargos. Yep. And uh, that's it for me, right? Uh, well, you also stopped on a market island. And so you're going to be able to take a piece of gear from over here. Oh, well, yes, I will. So do I want to re-roll a one-time thing? Or I get to go fishing. I gain one every time. Or get rid of the pirates. I think I'm going with get rid of the pirates. Because I feel like at some point that's going to help me. I do not remember how to rotate cards. Uh, it is the Q and the E. There we go. Thank you, sir. 
Uh huh. Well, this is going to warn. I, I gave those deliveries a really good shuffle because we still had another blue. I was like, this is not. This is not right. All right, so this is coming to Warren Isle, which is over here. Very cool. Uh, okay, that was round two. Now we're on round three. Um, <laughs> I don't want to risk anything. I don't like. I don't like those sharks and pirates messing with me. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna roll the slow and steady die. Five and fish. I like that. Big fan of five and fish. Oh, that is like the best result possible. <laughs> Okay, however, I don't have any cargo whatsoever. So, Oscar is going to... I can move through Maisie. She'll give me one, two, three. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to... I'm going to take a turn. We're going to refresh. Refresh team. And load the boat back up. Fill it, fill it back up with cargo. Went to see Brock. Brock's like, here's some more deliveries that need to be made. Get out there and get to work, Oscar the Cat. <laughs> That's going to be the end of my turn. Okay. So, Bradley, all you, man, what are you thinking here? Let's see. Let's see what we get first. Okay. That's true. You got to see what you're working with. Um. Hmm. What is the what did you just roll the green or the red one? The red one with mm -hmm. the shark. With the shark. Ooh. Oh yeah, Larry's coming to see you. Larry says nom 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 nom. <laughs> Where are you? You're over here. So Larry's gonna. You want Larry here or here? So like, a lot of players they'll put him. They'll put these in, the bad NPCs at these entry points to the island, so people have to pass through them because they're jerks. Mm. <laughs> Bradley, are you a jerk? You wouldn't. You wouldn't do that, to us, would you? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you still got to roll this die though, and see how many like, fish that you got to feed Larry. It doesn't matter. Uh, You're gonna lose all your fish. Uh, you only have two. Just move enough to fish. <sighs> That's it. So, uh, James, tell us a little bit about this is headed to Kickstarter. Where where can we get this one? Well, it's it's funny that you uh, you bring that up. So, uh, funny story. We were going to take this to Kickstarter. <laughs> um, <laughs> this the year of twenty twenty has been uh, it's been messed up, man. Um, mm -hmm. It's been jacked. So, we had pitched this to some partners a long time ago, and we heard nothing for a very long time. And mm -hmm. then uh, we got an email last Friday that says uh, Walmart is going to stock this game. So can you have it to us for the spring release. And we're like, I, I, um, I, I guess we can. I don't. <laughs> uh, so we're, we're at this point now uh, we are, we've removed all the Kickstarter stuff and we're put, we're packaging it together. Luckily the game was done uh, on our end. So uh, not, wow. a, not a too big of a deal, but. Having a little bit more notice from our uh, from our partners would have been nice, but it is what it is. This is 2020, right? <laughs> hey, that's I exciting. Night, yeah. I saw last night somebody had a meme that said um, they had discovered a, a crystal spear, and they were like, somebody was like, hold on to that. We'll need that in the 2020 season finale against the Lich King or whatever. <laughs> It's coming. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's cool. Okay, so uh, I think it's my turn now. You guys want... Yes. Okay, so I get, because I am in last place again, hopefully huh? you don't hear this very often during the game, but I will get to roll both of these dice. Ooh, now, this is this is crazy sauce right here. Okay. Uh, you get to move 16 spaces. <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> this is the maximum movement result that can happen in the game, because fair winds double your movement, and when you're in last wow. place. So, now... The thing is, you can move around and make as many deliveries as you can make work, but as soon as you go back to the lighthouse to refill your cargo, you have to end your turn there. So there is kind of a backstop on all this crazy movement you can do. Okay, so I am here. I only have one cargo, but I think at old uh, this old town here, old shipyard, or what's it called? Oh, the uh, shipyard? Yeah, I think I can deliver one there. So, well, if you have if, to move to those pirates, they're going to steal it. So you're going to have to go the long way. But luckily, <laughs> well, actually, 
No, you can't go that way. It doesn't connect. So oh, you're going to no. go a really long way, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> All right, we're doing it then. So, but do I have to end any of these spots or any, any spot them? on the island? Any, yeah, any surrounding it. It's totally fine. Okay, so I'll do that, and then I'm going to grab that one card from Old Shipwreck. That one's mine now, and I got to get rid of my last cargo. And um, can I go fishing too? Or Absolutely. Is that, let's do that. Whoop. And we're going to fish a bunch, get a ton of fish or three. Three, three more fishes <laughs> or three. <laughs> hey, I'll take three. Three's, three's all right. And then uh, I guess that's all I can do, right? That's it. All right. Bear Haven is going to be the next. Now, y'all don't forget these treasures are over here. Okay. So mm. you can pick those up and then go take them to the pirate. And that's instant points. Uh, yeah. Jimmy, how many points was that delivery worth? I believe it was. Um, it three was. Points. We're looking. Yeah, points. three points. Three. Oh, <laughs> you're no longer in very last place. Well, that's all right. Well, you I can't be last point. every round. <laughs> you hope not. <laughs> all right, round four. I hope not, yeah. Round four. Okay, what is my plan? I'm full of cargo, and oh, I'd really like this. Bear Haven situation. 12 points is nice. Can I get there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six. That means I gotta go, I gotta go dastardly. I gotta go dang, I gotta live life dangerously. Mm-hmm. All right. Eight in a jet stream. I ain't mad about that. Okay. So I'll put a jet stream. Uh, actually, I can't put it there. Both times I've rolled that, I've been on the uh, inner aisle. So that's by, by the lighthouse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, here's what I'm going to do. Here is what I am going to do. Uh, I'm going to spend my three cargo. I'm going to make this delivery over here. Old Bear Haven. Uh, that's 12 points. So that'll bump me up to 32. Mm. And, uh, I got, I can spend a fish, move one more space. I'm going to go pick up this. I'm going to go pick up this treasure. I'm going to load it on my boat now that I got an open spot. Boom. Now, when I see them pirates again, I'm going to give them some treasure. They'll love you. All right. That is the end of my turn. And then the new spot is Dolphin Island. Okay. Okay. Bradley, you're up. Mr. Bradley. Larry is still, he's like, look, he looks like he's trying to eat your boat. <laughs> uh, did you roll the green dice? <laughs> yes. Then uh, that is actually, remember that the two is actually a three. Um, two is a three. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot. Uh, let's move right there. Now, if you spend, okay. if you spend a fish, you can get in here to this delivery point. Do you have enough? Cargo to deliver. You do. You have two oh, left. Shark tank again. Uh, he, you need to roll the die when you move through him, and just see how many Got fish it. he takes from you. Ooh. Uh, a two. So roll that. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <sighs> to eat all your fish. <laughs> Son of a gun. Yikes. Uh, okay, so I have no fish. No fish. So that's all I can do. Oh, Is man. That now the whale, I rolled the whale. Oh, yeah. Maisie's going to move over here next to you. And she would have she would have gave, gave you a uh, cargo. So you can reload one of those cargo back onto your ship. Mm. Over here on your player board. Hey, got it. Got it. Dang. All right, Jimmy, you're up. I, uh, so I have nothing on my boat, uh, no cargo to give because I've oh, done wait, all TV, the... timeout. TV timeout. Uh oh, Bradley, you're in last place. You should not have rolled this die. You should have rolled this one. So why don't you re roll this and see how much more movement you would have had? Because you're in last uh, place. You shouldn't have rolled the slow die. Ooh. Mm. Roll this one right here. 
The speed. It's, I, he, he missed it because he's not used to somebody else being in last place other than me. <laughs> <laughs> Just give that this a roll. See new. how many extra spaces you could have moved. That, that would okay. probably help. You. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. So two more moves. So that's oh. three. That's two more. Two that's more. Right, two yeah. more. So let's go right here. Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. Give me now. It's truly your turn. Okay. So let me find where I am again. Um, I am over here on shipwreck, old shipwreck. I have no cargo and I am a long ways from where I want to be. <laughs> I think, I think I'm going dangerous too. So maybe I can do some, some movement. Come on, baby. Oh, seven hey, that, and a blank. There you go. That's pretty good. I'll take that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That doesn't help me there. One, two, three. So if I go through the pirates, they do what to me? I'm gonna. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna steal one of your cargo. So you're gonna have to actually toss a cargo off your boat. So if I don't have cargo, is now the then, time to go through it? Then you're good. No, you can still go through. Okay, you're that's like, what we're gonna do. Then. He was Woo. like, hey, buds, I got no cargo for you. So sorry. Awesome. Okay, so I am back home, and uh, I'm going to end my movement there, and I reload my boat. Is reload that how that boat. works? Yep. Oh, we're doing it. Okay, great. So um, it was a bummer, but I guess that's the best time you can see the pirates. Yeah. Is, uh, yeah. Then. That's that's very true. All I right. do have a cargo a card, though. Hopefully, I'll be able to use it at some point. To we are at that. Off. We're starting round five now. I am going to go. Where, where am I again? I always have to remember where. Which I've played this so many times now that I always forget which character I'm playing. All right, I'm over there, way off in the corner. You know what? I have a I have uh, a treasure. So, and I'm way off. I'm going to roll the dangerous die. I kind of want. The pirates to come to me. Oh yeah, and they did uh, not. Wah, to me. Wah. <laughs> I would have lost my 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 crate, but it would have been worth it. Okay, so I can move seven. Uh, can I get to the pirates? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It cost me one, two, three, four more to get to them. You know what? Let's do it. One, two, get three, to. four fish. One, two, three, four. So I'll end my turn. Ooh. Ooh, do I want to spend more fish? Let's see. All right. So I'm for sure I'm gonna drop them off this treasure. Okay. So let's flip this over. How many points is this? Ten. Mm. Forty-two. That's All right. Nice. I could spend one, two, three more fish and in my you know what? I'm gonna do it. One, two, three. So that cost me, I, I, I'm spending a lot of fish, which is going to kill points, but I feel like efficiencies are good here, you know? Mm -hmm. Made a bunch of deliveries, I got my boat filled up, and I'm ready for the rest of the game. All right, Bradley, you're up. Mr. Bradley. Okay. And Bradley, you're still rolling, you're still in last place, so roll roll the good stuff. I'm going to get this stuff out of here, right here. Four. So you rolled uh, the, the red die and the green Uh, that's a six, not a nine. Oh, oh that was fish. You're good. So two fish, and you get to move six spaces. Six. One, two, three, four, six. And then, and then I'm going to take two deliveries. Which one is that one? Three deliveries. Hey, wait, 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 wait. That you went to Moo Cow Key. That that delivery is at Dolphin Island. So go back to where you're at. You actually just right. It's right here. See where the delivery marker's at? It's not over here. Oh yeah, you went to. Oh, I started your turn right there. Dang it! So if you want to deliver there, it's even easier. It's even closer. Yes. Okay. My bad. One, two, three. There you go. So there we go. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the ticket. All right, that costs you two cargo. It's worth five points. So let me one, two, three, four, five. I got your points. And then fish again. And you get to fish again. Two more. Doing fish. some more fishing. 
And that fishing gear is looking really good right now, isn't it? All the fishing rolls you've been doing. Yeah. All so right. You could just spend your game just fishing, huh? Well, and like that is a strategy. Do you want to go heavy on the fish and have a bunch of fish at the end of the game for uh, three to one scoring? Turtle mm. retreat. Turtle retreat over here. Okay. Jimmy, you're up. Okay. So I need to find. Um, Walrus, Walrus Brothers Island. Where is that? Right there. Yep. There it is. Okay. So uh, I'm going to, since I'm not in last like Bradley, I am going to. That's not far away. That's only three away. I think I can make it. I'm doing the the green safe die. There you go. <laughs> Every time I've ra uh, rolled the whale, I don't. Uh, I can't take the cargo. <laughs> She still moves, um, so you're over. You're right there. You're hanging. Yep. Right? She's still yep. going to come over there, so maybe you can make that work later. I don't know. Okay, okay so I'm going to use all uh, so three movement to get there, and then I will make that delivery to right. the walrus. Well, I can't say that word. Walrus. Walrus. <laughs> walrus. One, two, three, four, five. So you jump back in front of Bradley by a point. Okay, there we go. So got rid of that. I have one more movement left. Or I guess I could have just stopped there that's instead. The pirates. But that's not, that's not right. me. Mm. Yeah, okay. So I guess I'll just stop there. Well, you're also on this island, so you're going to get to grab another piece of equipment. Oh, yes. Let's make use of that. Let's, let's flop this over and see what you got. Oh, the cargo upgrade's available. Yes, yes. We will do that. Okay, so I'll take that card, and uh, you're, just slot, you're also slot. Yes, you, you slot it in here. Okay, perfect. Set this stuff aside for the for the moment. You'll just take Hamish's card, flip it over, and add perfect. it to your player board. And now look at that! Boom! Wow! So much more cargo. See, this is what gamers love. We love upgrades. We love all this kind of stuff. Is what we want to do. So that's great. Um. Okay. I think if that's the end of your turn, then that's round five. We are we're over halfway. Mm, I gotta I gotta crank this thing up. I promise there are green deliveries in here. So if if they're, the second half of the game should be heavy uh, on that. <laughs> this is Walrus Brother Hut again. Mm -hmm. Lucky you. Uh, just a note: that there can never be two of the same island deliveries out on that delivery board. So if I would have flipped out. A second Warren Isle, we would have just shuffled it back in and drew something different. Gotcha. All right, team. Round six, I'm up. What am I doing? I have a ship full of cargo and some places that need delivering. That's what we need to do. Oscar's at the port. He's at this dock. We got this little one right here. I don't have any yellows. No, I do have yellow. I need a blue. If I want to work on a set, I need to go grab this one from you over at Walrus Hut. Mm. Uh, one, two, I don't like that. Three, four, <laughs> five. You know, I don't really need to go too fast to get there. So I'm going to roll the safety die. Mm -hmm. Got a Maisie, which I'm like you, that doesn't really help me a whole lot. It moves her away from you because I'm full of cargo. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to get over here. I'm going to make that Walrus Brothers delivery. Cost me a cargo. I'm gonna get three points. Five. And I also ended here. So I want some cargo as well. What do we got? What do we got. You know what? I love the lucky shell because you just never know when you're gonna need a good reroll. You just <laughs> don't know. Um uh, lizard's rest is gonna be where the next delivery goes, and that is over there. I'm going to equip my lucky shell, and that's the end of my turn. Okay. So, Mr. Bradley. All right, Mr. Bradley, you are still in your right. place, so you get the good stuff. The good stuff. Nothing but the good stuff. Seven and fishing. Hey, that's pretty good. Good, good, good. Do go a ahead, little bit go of ahead. fishing. Before you, before you move, go ahead and roll your fishing die and, and get your fish from, the, from your roll result. Here's the fishing oh. dial here. Two, 
two more fishes. <laughs> the fish die is not your friend. Man, the, that fishing gear that you, like is haunting you that you didn't take at the beginning of the game. <laughs> uh, my it right? No. I don't think so. Why, cool. So where are you going now, Bradley? Uh, now I'm going to make this delivery, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. Turtles retreat. Turtle retreat. Turtle retreat. Boom. And turtle retreat's worth three points. One, two, three. <laughs> We're just swapping back and forth on this last place gig. Oh, he did that <laughs> perfectly for you, Jimmy. So now you get to roll the <laughs> behind die. <laughs> I will take that. I All will right. definitely take it. The old shipwreck is where the new delivery spot is. All right. Jimmy, you're up. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to take both those, roll those pretty good, hope for the best. Woo! Oh, So you got 12. So that's, that's Again, that's a six, not a nine. <sighs> okay, so I think I'm going to go one, two, three. What happens when I go through that token? If you stop on a jet stream, then you can, uh, you'll actually get to roll the, the green movement die and keep moving. Uh, oh, but okay. you move through it, doesn't do anything. Okay, so I'm trying to get this treasure over yep. here. So over there, to I... pick it up. Okay. Yep. There you go. There we go. Awesome. And so then I take this back home. Yep. Just put it in one of your cargo slots. It's a good thing I got an extra spot, huh? Yeah. All right. And now, and you, then if you have still movement left, you can keep moving. Okay. So I started here. So I was one, two, three, four, five, six. And so I have six more movement. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yep. One, two, three, four. Now, if you stop there, you can roll this green die and whatever movement you get to keep moving. I think we're going to do that. No. Oh, epic combo. All right. Get rid of jet, stream. <laughs> jet stream's gone now. You're using it. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So roll that thing. Okay. So, so one, two, three, four. Four. It didn't really help me. One, two, three. Uh, well, I can get closer to my pirates, right? One, well, you two. can also stop. If you stop on this island, you can grab. You have one more slot for equipment. So there might be another piece of equipment you want to grab. Okay. Yeah, let's check that out. So discard to move three extra spaces. And could I use that immediately? Uh, you couldn't because to, to get this, you have to stop your turn. Gotcha. Okay. Well, we are going to get my last piece there. I'm going to move your your extra cargo out of the way. There you go. You just, just Sorry, I've been, guys, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm like moving stuff on your board, it is because I spend all day in this thing. And I am like, <laughs> I am a TTS shark now. Yeah, you yeah. definitely got all the moves. Uh, okay, great. Cool. Uh, you didn't score any points. So that's going to secure you that last place roll. And you're also <laughs> going to deny Bradley from doing it. Uh, all right, round seven. Hmm. God, what do I got? I got three cargo. I got three cargo. Uh, do I need any of those colors? No, I need a green. Where are all the green cards at? Why does this game hate us? <laughs> it's definitely not uh, paying out for green just yet. Because you have to have one of each for the set. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that's true. All right, I'm going to go fast. I'm going to go fast. Okay. Whirlpool and Fire or Jetstream. We've renamed this thing so many times. There's so many different names for some of the stuff in my head. Uh, Oscar's going to drop that right there and go one, two, three. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Four, five. I'm going to stop at Meerkat and grab a piece of gear. Um, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. Shark repellent. I'm taking that. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. I didn't, that was, that was, it was not the most efficient turn, but that shark <laughs> repellent's nice when you need to be able to like shoo Larry the shark away without him taking your fish. Bradley, you're up. Oh, Mr. Bradley. Yeah. And if anybody's just joining us or watching this later, we're raising money for extra life. We're trying to get, uh, do some things for the kids. And so we're pretty excited about that. We have a goal of, uh, $1,000 today. And that is, we have, let's see here. 
we've raised 235 so far. So we're not, we're not doing too shabby considering we're only like an hour into this thing. I'll take it. All right, Bradley, was that it? You loaded that boat up. Awesome. Look at that. Okay. Oh, you got, no, you got five. You got a five piece of cargo situation. Look at that. Woo. You're ready to make some deliveries. All right, Jimmy. Okay. Do the thing. All right. Do okay. So, you I've, yeah. Once again, we have the two dice. I remember, that's so six. I, six and fish. All right. So, oops. It happens. I'm a, yeah. Hey, look. It landed <laughs> it exactly out. right. Okay. So, I get three more fish. I'll take it. And then, uh, so I could do some pretty good movement here if I needed to. So I've got pirates. Where did the pirates take off to? They're right here. They're right. Oh, okay. They're not that far. So, hmm. That's right. You got a piece of treasure. You want to go, you want to go their way. Uh, but then they would take my cargo as well. Or how does that not, work? As long as you don't move through them. So like if you just, if you were to go like one, two and stop here adjacent, or you don't have to stop, but you can give them that and then move along a different way. You don't have, as long as you, when you move through their spaces, when they have their negative effect. Okay. So I've got six movement. I'd love to be able to, uh, you know what I'll do is I will move here. That's two. And then can I give them the, yep. the treasure then? So you're just going to take that and flip it out up here. Okay. Got 11 points. Nice. I'll move you over here. So that's going to jump you up to 26. And then I've got, um, that was only there. two. So I think I'm actually going to come back home and load up. Hey, there you go. Prep for these last few rounds. Oh yeah. We got to get, we got to get some stuff going here. Cool. So then uh, where's the extra? There it is. All right. We're at the start of round eight. I'm going to keep being a risky little fella. I, I like the cat's got nine lives, you know? Seven and nothing. Okay. I am going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to grab this other treasure. Look at that. I had one slot left. Um, I'm going to, I got two fish. I don't think it'll help me. I'm just going to, I'm going to hang out over here in the corner in Penguin Bird. Bradley, you're up. That'd be great. Bradley, you're doing all right. You're not doing that bad. <laughs> he's about to, he's going to lap us. <laughs> this, this is where we are. <laughs> That's okay, though. You know, I mean, all we're right. just going to say that so... on this family game that we're, we're just learning. We're just learning. <laughs> hey, okay. So, well, which I already have, I'm already full, but it's not the worst. So, is this, um, I know that y'all have trial by trolley that I've seen at Target. To... Yeah. Um, any other, it, this going to Walmart, is this the first uh, Walmart game that y'all have on the shelves? Well, technically, okay. trial by trolley actually just, just went to Walmart as well this past oh, okay, like, cool. two weeks ago. It started there. But this will be our first hobby game um, into Walmart. So really excited about, you know, I know there was a lot of people excited about this coming to Kickstarter. Um, we were excited to bring it to Kickstarter. We, we've made all the assets for a deluxe, ver deluxe version of this game. So we may figure out a way to get those, you know, if people really love the game, they want the, the minis and the really cool dice and the squishy fish and some of those things that we had planned. Um, we may release a packet of that someday. But, you know, this is going to end up being a $25 game at Walmart. So, um, mm. I feel like the table presence, it's gorgeous. It's fun. It's easy to play. There's enough strategy that gamers will enjoy it and kids can follow. Um, I think it's going to, you know, I think it's going to do, it's going to be awesome. So we're excited about it. Well, I'm excited for you. That sounds great. And I think to take my kid to Walmart and show him around and say, Hey, look at this one and take it home soon ish. That'll be pretty cool. So, yeah, and we're also, I mean, it's also going to go, uh, it'll be available through regular distribution as well. Not, it's not exclusive to Walmart. Um, right. so like FLGS is can pick this up, carry it as well. That, that's okay. Right. Awesome. Okay. This isn't um, like a Lions of, uh, Jaws of the Lion situation where we've got a six week exclusive window or anything. If that changes, I'll let you know. But Walmart did not tell us that that, that was something that they were requiring. 
All right. Again, the green. I promise you, there's still 38 cards there. I'm gonna shuffle them some more. I just, I just don't believe. <laughs> you probably keep shuffling them down as well. Maybe. I'm gonna show y'all. Look, see, so there is a green card. Right, they do right. exist. What's that, Bradley? I, didn't I rolled the Maisie. Okay, Maisie was rolled. Is that moved by me? Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. yep. She'll move by you. Man, Maisie and the pirates are hanging out at that shipwreck. She's going to bring you a cargo if you can if you can make that work. Do you have a spot for an extra cargo? Uh, I got it. I think I did it. All oh, okay, because I made a delivery as well. Oh, okay, cool. Oh. All right. I need a card to come up that would be like drop off four cargo or something because that's <laughs> that's the only possible way I could see me catching Mr. Hudson over there. So, um, okay. Uh, is it my turn now? It is. I'm going to live dangerously because I'm trying to catch up. Come on, big money. Mm. Not bad. Okay. Nope, I can't go there, so nothing happens. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Those are pirates, though. They're going to mess with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess I'm just going to make a delivery then instead. And I'm going to go for maybe some greens will come out. So I'm going to try to get to this Warren Isle. How far is Warren Isle? One. So I could go one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and then spend two fish to go the rest of the way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so let me deduct my fish. I don't want to cheat. And then I'm going to get the uh, Warren Isle for five points, and I lose one of these cargo or drop off. I'm not. I'm not losing them. And then uh, I guess I could spend one more. To go back and fish. We're going to do that. Spend one more. And then try our luck at fishing. Because I think I'd net at least one more. Right? That's Come exactly on, baby. it. Woo! We oh. got four. That's where that fishing gear. It could be good. It could be good. I keep forgetting what my cards are too. I get an upgraded. And I can discard to move three extra spaces. All right. Okay. Well, that's me. So there's another right. round by. Round nine. There's two rounds left, team. So you're gonna want to. Uh, one thing <laughs> you know, like if you see these little um, lighthouse tokens right here, if mm -hmm. you end your turn at the end of round ten at the lighthouse, you'll take one of those tokens, and they're worth three three VP at the end of the game. Super cool. Yeah, yeah that's a good. Power. Okay, I am. I'm. I, I'm. I'm stuck over in the corner, so I'm going fast and fast and furious. Six and nothing. I dig it. I got, a, I got some treasure, so I need to track down these pirates. They are clear on the other side of the board, though. Two, mm. three, four, five, six. I'm going to spend one fish just so that I'm on the edge there. And do I want a piece of equipment? I have a slot. Let's see what's open. Let's see what's open. Uh, I'm going mm, to take the fishing gear just so y'all can't have it. That's my plan. story i'm sticking to it all right um uh, i was really hoping for a green uh delivery or something easy real close by and i did not get that it didn't work out no the greens are just steady hiding all right bradley you're up okay what so you get the the good die again Woo, 14 Wow, you can do anything you want. <laughs> the world is your oyster. Now you can make you can so. make multiple deliveries if you've got the cargo to do it. I want to take that guy. Wow. All right. So that was what did you say? Ten to get you over there. Uh huh. And then she still got four movement left, so you can just keep Hard. going. Four, and if you got any fish to spend, I mean ten. Now you don't get the ten until you deliver. You have to deliver that treasure to the pirates. Yeah. Um, so you picked it up. It's ten. it's in your. It's holding in one of those spots in your cargo deck. Five. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. You got plenty of fish too. Oh. You could make it back to the pirates to deliver that. Where are they at? They're right oh, here. Yeah. yeah. So, so you've got four movement left. So right there is where you could have got. So now you have one, two, three, four, five. You spend five fish, you can get it and deliver it and be right there. And then pass me up, I bet. <laughs> yeah. All right, how many points is that? Okay. Yeah. When you flip that treasure over. So one, two, three, four, how many five, treasure six, did seven, you eight, get? Nine, ten, I got you. I got you. 12, 13, 14. 10 points. One, two, so 31. Oh, y'all are tied. Unbelievable. So if you're tied, do you, no one rolls the. That is correct, the, Jimmy. <laughs> can we break the rules just for today? No. no. <laughs> That's what my kids would say. My kids would be like, come on, Dad. Now, I don't know. I don't, you've got two cargo left, Bradley, but if you wanted to spend two more fish, you could end this turn at the lighthouse and refill mm -hmm. and be full yes. up for the last round. Right now, there's only little janky little single cargo deliveries available, but that could change. That's what I keep thinking is if I've got four right now and I keep hoping that something good's going to come up, but okay. Um, where I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. Is that what you're going to do, sir? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. You're doing it. Yeah. So you can refill all that car. Your cargo slam full again. Oscar. <laughs> I've lost my boat. Where am I at? Uh, you're orange. So you're right here. You're Hamish. Oh, oh okay. It's sideways on me. I didn't see it. Okay. Like Gilligan's so Island. You lost it. I totally, totally lost it. See. Um, okay. So I can make it to Walrus Shack. Where is Walrus Shack? There it is. Right there beside you. Um, but I'm going to have to go one, two, three, four, five, six movement. All right. Let's see. I'm going to roll. I've got some fish. I'm going safe. We're going to do this and hope for the best. Oh, <laughs> right, three Maisie's in a way. Maisie's coming to see you. You decide. Do you want her? Which? Uh oh, I threw her at you right here. Do you? I don't. It may not matter to you which side you put her on. Yep, that's great. All right, so, and I get a free cargo from you. Her. Do you do? She's got I all of her. She knows where all the cargo's at. She's got all the, <laughs> all the hot news, all the gossip. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to have to spend three fish to do that. One, okay. two, three. But I'm making it to Walrus Shack and I am taking that. I get three points. Yep. For one cargo. So that's what Macy gave me. Thanks for the three points. Um, and then uh, do I want to pick up some I can more get, gear? What's that? You can pick up some more gear. So if there's something you want to swap out. Oh, gotcha. Let's see, what do you got going on over here? You got that jam sandwich. So if you wanted to keep moving, you could throw that jam sandwich away and not pick up any more loot. Mm, I see. One, two, three. Um, trying to see where. Or you can, you can save it for that last turn because there's no telling what's going to happen on this last turn. Okay. Yeah, we'll just save it. I think we're good. We'll see what kind of comes out. So. All right. Round ten. Last round. Oh, last look. Round, gentlemen. A green. A green. <laughs> One green. Last round. Who's getting it? <laughs> Penguin bird. Oh no! It's behind me. Ah. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna roll the fast stuff. Let's we'll see what result we get. Six and a jet stream. So let me, let me drop that jet stream down where I'm at in decision time. Um, okay. So I'll go back. I really wanted to get to the pirates. One, two, three, four. I can get to the pirate and deliver this other. I think that's going to be the move. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Deliver this treasure. 12 points. Woohoo! 12 points. 57. Yep. It's worth paying the pirates. And you know what? You know, here's what I'm gonna do. I got I got two movement left. I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let them jack me up and take one of my. They're gonna punch my my hole. Take one of my cargo. But I'm gonna I'm gonna also do this old shipwreck. 
No, this ain't. We didn't move this a minute ago. Uh oh. <laughs> Cheap refuge. That's actually here. This, this should have been over here. Um, I'm going to go one, two instead, and I don't have to give up that cargo. Mm -hmm. The pirate, I'm going to do this one. Gotcha. Well, maybe and you're going to reveal something better for us. One, two, three, four, five. And then, ah, I was, I was like, I'll spend two fish and end my turn here so I get one of those tokens. But I only have one. Oh, I have one fish. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to spin on one fish yeah. and jump on this jet stream. Mm -hmm. To re-roll. I'm going to roll this. And I think that'll, that'll get me there. That's actually a three. <laughs> oh, yeah. Three, three. Look at that. I'm glad we changed that. <laughs> All right. So I'll get this token, and that will be the end of my turn. That sounds like a dad roll right there. Well, you know, <laughs> we just changed that. Just changed it. Sorry about that. Uh, this is a worn aisle for nine points. So let me put this over here for y'all. So Bradley, your choice is here. You got two deliveries on the outside over here and one over here at Lizard Rest. So make make good use of it, sir. Go for it. Now you get to roll both the good die too. Yep. So six and fish. Go ahead and roll that fish die and see how many fish you get. That might factor into how much movement you want to do. Three, three more fish to add to your collection. Well, you didn't have any, so that's good. Yeah, those are needed. That's a cool mechanism where you All right. get to count those as points or movement during the game. I like that. Yeah, I've seen people do the fish strategy where they build up a ton, and in this last movement, they just they go nuts. They'll spend 14 fish just moving all around everywhere. And um, <laughs> But, again, there's always a backstop because eventually you're going to run out of cargo, right? And then right. you have to go back to the lighthouse. But if you can make that last turn really sing, you can do some heavy stuff. So how do you refill the deliveries? Is it uh, after your turn is over or yeah. do they refill? Right. Okay. So yeah, you, you can only at the most do three if you, the stars yeah. align. That's exactly right. Okay. All right. So you, 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 you're that? knocking out this worn aisle. What are you doing, Bradley? I was going for that, man. <laughs> okay. So there's, that's a twofer. There's, there you go. That's nine points, so that's going to jump you up to 39. You, I think that's all I can do. Is that it? That's the I end of that's it. it. Did all you have to spend three fish to get there? Yeah. You your fish to get there? Yeah. Mm. Got you. Okay. Yep. All right. Jimmy, let's see what you got. Uh Oh, womp, 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 womp. <laughs> The diver. Now, unfortunately, this is a pickup and delivery. So this is the scuba diver is at the old shipwreck. Yeah. So you could go over here. Um, I'll grab this token. We haven't had any of these come out. These are, this is a passenger. So you would, if you came here, you could pick up this passenger. And it works just like the treasure. You have to put it into one of your slots, and then you would take it to where it wants to go. In this case, it'd be pair aisle, and it'd get you nothing. Gotcha. Well, that's all right. I think what I'm going to do instead is, well, let's roll. We're going to live dangerously, so maybe I can have a lot. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're in last place, so you get to roll the goodies. Oh. Well, you, get good. to roll, you get to roll the goodies. It's good to be in last for a little okay, bit. Okay, you're moving 12 spaces, sir. That's a good okay. result on the last turn. Okay, so... Let's see what you can make of it. So one, two... Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to... Use almost all of it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to make this delivery. Okay. So I can get my set. My points. So that, I've got you. 39. I'll lose that one. What did I say? I can't remember now. Is that eight. one? Eight. And mm -hmm. so I've got four more. Um, and then I don't see anything else that I'd be able to get to, but I can try to get back home, I guess. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Land on that jet stream. And then I... Roll the green die. Roll, roll the green die. Come on, baby. Five. Five. So that'll get me home. And uh, I guess that's... Oh, 
I don't want to be on top of the lighthouse. I mean, you, you can do that. It's just going to be pretty damaging to the boat, I think. <laughs> That's the uh, way to end, though. Just grab yourself one of these uh, tokens right there. All right, got it. All right, so that's the end of the game. That was the end of round 10. So now we will do in-game scoring. So I'll do mine over here. Uh, I I don't have any sets because I never got any green. Uh, I did get three points for my lighthouse token for end of my turn there, so I'll move, get three points for that. And I don't have any fish, so I don't get any extra points for fish. So uh, there's that. Okay. And then lastly, my assignment, my secret assignment was... Uh, I actually ended up, even though I shuffled it, I got the example that I showed everybody. So make two, three, or four delivery cargoes, or make three, and I only made two, so I'm only going to get five points for that. Okay. So I did not maximize that. So I ended the game with 70 points. 70 points. Wow. All right. Bradley? Okay. Mr. Bradley, what do you get extra here? I don't see a set. Uh, doesn't have the token. Let's see. Make two you need green and red islands in any combination. Oh man, that was I can't that's make rough. Extra. That's it. green never came oh. out. But did you have any other? Are those all five of your deliveries? That was it. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't have any. You didn't have another red either. So that's that's it. All right. Uh, whoop. Yeah. I don't know how to set these out i shouldn't have stacked them all right oh it's fine okay so i have i do have a set all right so I got five. The, the soul green of the game i have seven fish seven fish that's two points and then my assignment wait um, you also had a three points from your lighthouse one two okay. three so you're 49 all right your assignment was and then three deliveries to blue and red islands in any combination. And you did. 10 more points. 59. Why well, cool. I think that's it for me then. Yep. You 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 got within your shot. Of, I've played this a lot, so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so wait, that's all right. I'll I'll take that. Uh, that's not too bad. So <laughs> no, 50, 59, I mean, any of these scores are great for the first time you play because the first time you play, you're really just filling out. It's it's these little mini races. It's almost like Crazy Taxi where you're like, I got to hurry up and grab this or grab that. Um, and mm -hmm. then things change before your turn. So then you have to kind of adjust your strategy based on what's available to you at the time and how to make your turn most efficient. I love it. Yeah, That's cover up. I love it, so. Well, way cool. Well, thanks for showing it to us and uh, sponsoring this playthrough. Uh, pretty excited to hear that it's going back to uh, uh, going to be a Walmart and distribution soon. That'll be pretty awesome. So, and later today we're going to play something else, I guess. Yeah, we're going to play Bloodstone, which will actually be more than likely our next Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah, that'll be awesome. And that's uh, that's your baby, right? It is, yeah. That's that, that. I've been working on that one for a very long time, probably like the better part of five years, design wise. So um, we're just gonna work on just the PvP today. There's a there's a whole mm -hmm. PVE boss fight section. Uh, there's a real complicated, more complicated, in depth PvP section. We're gonna play the base. We're gonna show everybody how the game works and that sort of thing. So I'm excited to show you. Yeah, I'm excited too. So, all right, my friend. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for this playthrough. And uh, we're going to take a break now and uh, reset for our next game and come back. And Extra Life is still going. Just a reminder, uh, the link is there. You go to boardgamecloset.com slash give. There's a simple link to uh, give and help support us on Extra Life. So good Let's stuff. go. Let's hit that goal. $1,000. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, thanks, James. We appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time. All right? Let y'all. Bye. All right. See ya. Bye-bye.